Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Thanks for being here today, guys. Um, we are uh, coming to you, if you have never seen us before, from Cincinnati, Ohio. Absolutely. Low budget. Always low budget. That's the way we like it. Um, and yeah, it's the 1st of June. Happy June. Happy, Happy June. summer. Summer is almost here. It's so close. So close. <laughs> That's just as close as this video is about to be. Uh, Rockin' the Scottish shirt today, um, mm -hmm. which is part of our one of our P.O. Box gifts. So stay tuned to the end for that, guys. We have some cool P.O. Box gifts to share with you. Because we're going to be watching... The, the the Scottish man himself, Billy Connolly, first time ever seeing his stand up. It should be fun. So we're going to be getting to that in just a moment. But before we do, we just want to say uh, a quick thank you over to everybody at Patreon. We have a mm -hmm. special, very special video for you coming up in just a few days. Um, only for patrons. You guys are going to yes. love this video. Um, we have a bunch of new stuff coming up uh, this month for you on Patreon. Again, exclusive content only patrons get. So thanks for supporting us over there. Um, and also, uh, guys, if you like the content that we put out, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Yes, but before you subscribe, please check out some of our other content before you subscribe. Make sure you want to be a part of our family. Absolutely. So having said that, so yeah, we're doing a comedian today, which you guys know is not something we do ever, hardly. Once a, we said we'd start trying to do one a month. Yeah. So if you're here for a comedian, just know we're not a comedy channel. Mm -hmm. um, people still send suggestions. We have more than enough. <laughs> and there's a lot on those lists that we'll probably never do. So we're, we're going to check out Billy Connolly today, though. Um, we know him a little bit in America. Mm -hmm. He was on a couple shows over here uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I love his voice. To me, he is what a Scottish accent sounds like. When you hear Billy Connolly, you think Scottish. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I just Boondock Saints, you guys know the movie. Um, love him from that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he's, but I've never heard of stand up. I haven't either. And although I have to say, I find the Scottish accent, probably the harder one to understand. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes. Yeah. But I don't think his is per se. Um, hopefully not. No. I mean, well, from what I know, I have heard him talk many yes. times. So I, I just love his Scottish accent though. Um, so, but you guys have requested this a lot from us. And so therefore we shall answer your call. Let's check it out. We're going to get into it. So let's dive on in. All right. Billy Connolly, terrorist attack at Glasgow Airport. Did you see the terrorists in Glasgow? The, the, the Islamic fellas. They just a wee while ago. The fucking, what were they fucking thinking about? <laughs> bringing terror to Glasgow. <laughs> Bad choice, boys. <laughs> You should have known better than that. You don't mind about a terror in Glasgow. Ah. They heard you were coming religious fanatics. They thought, well, I'm not sure about religious fanatics without a fucking football team. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you know he's performing this in Northern Ireland, too, for one thing. Um, but also... Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Um, I, I know the audio. I, I, hopefully I'll have edited this. It's a little hard to hear. Um, which is why I put both of these in. So if I didn't get this better, I'm sorry, you're going to have to use both of your earpieces if you have them. You know what I mean? Does that help? Uh, hopefully I'll I be mean, able I to fix it. I mean, I could hear it pretty good. I can't believe you just said that. That was hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> I saw the whole thing in New York on the news. I thought I would need an ambulance. <laughs> I have never laughed like it. <laughs> Fucking idiots. That whole suicide bomber shite. It's, it's just, what a prick. Now, do you know what I want to see just once? The suicide bomber instructor. Right, lads, pay attention. I'm only going to show you this once. <laughs> Wait a minute, redo. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> a failed suicide bombing. It's I'm cool. only going to show you this once. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's not even right. Uh, but like, yeah, like suicide bombing school 101. Yeah. <laughs> There's no school. Um, that's just awful. <laughs> I'm only going to show you this once. Okay, sorry. 
Ah, epic. I gotta rewind that. That was hilarious. <laughs> Billy Connolly, I like you already, buddy. The suicide bomber instructor. Right, lads, pay attention. I'm only going to show you this once. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> You'll hear a push, <laughs> and then something will go over your head, resembling flying mints. <laughs> That'll be me off for the 57 virgins. <laughs> 57 fucking virgins you get. My ass. What, what are you going to do with 57 virgins? You're just pulling your balls off. <laughs> Yeah, she ain't doing nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Am I crying? <laughs> I think you're crying. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, Billy Connolly. Mm. <laughs> Back to it. <laughs> and what are you doing in Glasgow looking for 57 <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. I don't get it. <laughs> there was a hero, John Sweeten, and I know him. I'm since I met him since, and he's a delightful man. He was a baggage handler at the airport, and he was out for a smoke. <laughs> and the Berlin Jeep showed up. <laughs> <laughs> He's hilarious. Oh my god, this shit. Guys on fire, people beating the shit. He's not trying to grab the person around the table. <laughs> okay, stop. I can't. My jaws hurt. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I, I know people have said that in the past, uh, in the past, in the comments, like he's a good storyteller. Oh my gosh, yes, he is. Very much. We're gonna so. have to check out more Billy Connolly. He's kind of reminding me a little bit of George Carlin, American oh, comedian man. George Carlin. It just in some ways, uh, just he doesn't care what he's saying. Yeah. You know, that's the whole like thing with George Carlin yeah. too. And oh, but I love him. <laughs> this is awesome. This is pretty funny. Billy Connolly's right up there with Al Murray, guys. <laughs> if you're on fire, <laughs> if you're on fire and somebody's kicking your balls, <laughs> okay, first of all. <laughs> I have subtitles. <laughs> they needed them too. Well, we happen to know for a fact that we try subtitles mm -hmm. with any Scottish accent for the most part. It's fun. It's a comedy in itself, just reading the subtitles going, yeah, I don't know. Right. Nope. Doesn't work. Doesn't work for the Geordie accent either. <laughs> this is hilarious, you guys. Thanks for the recommendation. That was the funniest thing. And John the hero standing there. And he's, he's been interviewed by this woman. She's obviously from some leafy suburb of Hampstead or something. And, and she said, no, John. <laughs> when the fracas means... <laughs> when the fracas ensued, was the Duke of Blaise at the time? Was, was the Cherokee of Blaise as the fracas ensued? <laughs> He says, what? <laughs> I say the same thing. He said, was, was the jeep on fire at, at the start of the fight? He says, so, oh, I. And he used an expression I haven't heard since I was a boy. He said, 
The flames were squishing right out the back. <laughs> and she's going, squish. <laughs> and women are hurt the way a Labrador does. <laughs> So he translates it for her. But this is the one that got me out of the chair on the floor. He says, Aye, you know the way an aerosol goes when you throw it on your bonfire? <laughs> she goes, No. And I don't had it. <laughs> I gotta pause. It's for my jaw's sakes because this hurts. He's hilarious. Oh um, my gosh! Other than the the audio in the background being a little off, I I have no problem with his accent. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, you have the worst trouble with Scott. You have, are you having any trouble with his accent? No. He's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Ha. Ah. Sorry, I just need a break from smiling. <sighs> Who says that often? <laughs> <laughs> the daddy did a thing, which made me. A changer got such a surge of pride. And I know you come from Belfast and exactly the same. I'm from Glasgow, so that, and, and we're very remarkably similar. And I know you feel the same. Just sometimes you hear something about your town and you go, fuck yes, I come from there. That's why right. I come right from Right on. There. Yes, I fucking live there. Don't you forget it. She says to him, have you anything to say? to terrorists who are thinking of coming to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> and John looks up the lens. He says, don't come here. <laughs> and then he adds, we'll say right about you. <laughs> yes! I get it. Because I've had it with those pricks. I've just had it with those pricks. I freaking love it. Everything he just said was epic. Go look at this. That was just freaking. No, don't. Don't come here. No. (laughs) I freaking love it. My ancestral Scottish pride is proud of that. Absolutely. That is awesome. I'm going to rewind that part, just this last part for a second. I I love him. Because I've had it with those pricks. pricks. I've had it with terrorists of all colors and fucking descriptions. Yep. Agree. It's fucking bringing terror to some innocent barrister's life. Fuck you. It's all been landed. Lives in a cave. Shits in a fucking bucket. Why are we scared of this trick? Right? Oh, it's a new video. He's so scary where they were. Oh, he's being stuffed. Oh, fuck. Oh my fuck you, man. God, I love him right now. I'm in love with him. I mean, this video is older, you know, so it's <laughs> it not a lot of awesome. gone now. Why are you scared of a man who lives in a cave? This is just epic, though. <laughs> like, I wish I had heard this back when we hadn't right? yet. Like, he was still around. I would just been laughing like he's right. We're running that about 10 seconds back because <laughs> I'm loving the way he's just giving them, like, yeah, nah, it's just freaking awesome. Oh, God. Oh, scary way they all fucking got another one. Fuck you, man, man. The next time he makes it, and another video. We should get a video of John Sweet and give it to Al Jazeera. Oh. <laughs> Epic. Oh, it's over. Stop. Oh, that was that was still awful. too short. That was short. That was so awesome in so many ways, guys. It was because it was just. Oh. There's the the pride of, of 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 the pride of everything that occurred, right? Uh, well, you know what I mean. And then, like his storytelling ability is 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 pretty badass. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't not laugh at that. You cannot laugh at not not bleh. you cannot not laugh at that. Yeah, that makes sense. You have to laugh at it. It's hilarious. It's freaking <laughs> hilarious, but also just epic. Yeah. Um, he definitely has a way about himself. It sure um, does. I guess I've never heard of his uh, stand up, but definitely gonna be checking out more in the future. Mm-hmm. That was hilarious. I love his accent. It's such a Scottish yeah. accent. Like, I mean, you just hear that in there. You can't deny that. Mm-hmm. You can't mistake it for any other accent on the planet. You yeah. know, that is a Scottish accent. It's freaking cool. Um, he's from Glasgow too, isn't he? So then, wouldn't I think? Is he Glaswegian? Somebody let me know. The is, and I'm. I don't know. 
Um, but if you guys like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, and then again, consider subscribing to the channel. But don't do that just for com comedy stuff, because again, we don't do a lot yeah, of comedy. Yeah, we don't do a lot of it. Um, and I know some people are like, you guys seem to laugh, though, at all the comedy comedians you do. And I'm like, well... We do, but we want We want variety. Yeah, we want to learn about up. the United Kingdom. So, and that was epic. I loved that. I loved Billy Connolly. Yeah, that was great. Uh, like I said, I liked him in everything I've seen him in, but have never seen a stand-up. So that was definitely a first. I enjoyed it. What did you think about it? Absolutely. I, I mean, at first I was like, <clears throat> how can you make a terrorist attack funny? Right. How is that com right. comedic? But, wow, that was pretty funny. That was hilarious. I mean, someone kind of screws up a, an attack and kind of... The whole, like, the Scott suicide Stick bomber. Down. I'm just going to show you this once. <laughs> <laughs> loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, but anyway, um, so, but before we get going today, we do have some uh, peel box items we want to show you guys. Um, and we want to thank everybody that uh, takes the time out of their day to even think about us at all. Send us anything. We appreciate you. And so the first yes. thing, I guess, on that list would be what I'm wearing right now. This this is one of two t-shirts. Oh and gosh. I love this. Oh, thank you. One. It's my only Scottish t-shirt. And it was just and, in time for that video. Yeah, I just thought about that. Like, I have to wear this when we're doing Billy Connolly. But I didn't just get this. I also got this. Check this out. If I have it the right way. These Boom. Both from Catherine Lorenzo. Check out the arms on this one. I think I'm saying that correctly. What's the name? Catherine Lorenzo. This is um, a, a, a rugby shirt for Scotland. Oh, I could have worn that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was for me. Okay. You do have three percent Scot Scottish ancestry now, so did it say to Natasha only? I know I didn't totally say that at all. Well, it is <laughs> men's size small. Thank you so much for those awesome those shirts, though. Seriously, I appreciate it. I've had nothing Scottish, so now I have this and that, and I really appreciate it very much. So thank you so much for even thinking of us. We do appreciate it. Debbie and I will share. And then the next thing we have, you I'll steal it from her. <laughs> this is from Chris Smith. Chris Smith hooked us up. So check out this. This is this cool. This is the outside box. Um, the United uh, bleh, I can't talk. Coinage of Great Britain, 1970, and Northern Ireland. So that confuses me when they say that. Why don't they just say United Kingdom? And he also sent us a card. With, with butterflies. A little notes and stuff. I love butterflies. So this is really cool. So we've gotten a lot of coins. And I love having coins because they're awesome. But check this out. I mean, look how shiny. Definitely never been in circulation. Yeah, that's a really cool collection. They're super pretty. So we got our, um, we got a lot. I don't know. I can't sit here and actually pretend like I know what half these are. Oh, it says on the back, doesn't it? We got a half crown. We got one shilling, half penny, one penny. Um, we got three pence. Uh, did I already say one shilling? Yeah, there's two one shillings. A six pence, my favorite. Uh, and this one is two shillings. And then they're all just so pretty and shiny. So, Chris, thank you so much for these. You're really cool. And I love the little container that came in, too. So, very nice and really cool. And thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yes, thank you, Chris. Oh, no. Why are you saying no, no? Nothing. Just put this away. Huh? I can't hear you. <sighs> so, I only have one person to blame for this gift. <laughs> I got an ear. <laughs> Say what now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Talitha from New Zealand, for sending that ear to Debbie. I got an ear, folks. Look, it can hold my earbud. Thanks for sending Debbie a toy ear. <laughs> all right, this will totally be fine. Won't be an issue at all. Not at all. Yeah. Talitha sent a bunch of other stuff, a... too, though. <laughs> Talitha sent a bunch of other stuff. So she went to um, this really cool uh, place. In New Zealand, and I'm not opening things yet um, to like, grab stuff out of here. It was actually an active volcano, not like active in the sense of lava coming out, but it could have any second. And she grabbed us some rocks from the volcano. How cool is that? How cool is that? We have rocks from a from a uh -huh. fairly active volcano in New Zealand. Thank you so much for that. That was so sweet. And then she's hilarious. She sent us an American dollar bill <laughs> that she happened to have laying around somewhere. With the note of, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> we can hold it in the ear. Yeah, we'll put it in the ear. Um, and then what else we got? We got it's a bunch of stuff. Coins. Oh, yeah. She sent some coins from New Zealand over, too. Um, I'm not going to show each one because there's a few. But I got a handful, um, which is super cool. And seeing these are different. I mean, this one's actually really cool because it's got a kiwi on the back and it's a dollar. But then, yeah, of course, it has Aunt Elizabeth on it, too, obviously. So that's really neat. And then we got some more some more stuff from Salifa. 
You go ahead with yours. I got a shirt for me. Have you got a New Zealand t-shirt? Pretty cool. Thank you, Talitha. Awesome. And then uh, I got two shirts. Uh, I got this one, which you'll be seeing me wear this a lot. I'll be wearing this a lot. So that's epic. And then I got this. Ooh. It's focusing on your jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. I got this shirt too, which almost looks like the rugby team shirt, but close enough, right? Yep. And I'll definitely be wearing that um, very soon for a certain video. Hint, hint, hmm. hint. What Drop it mean? in the comments if you know where I'm going with that. Nobody mm -hmm. knows. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Salitha, so much, and everyone else that sent us uh, sent us something, um, and everyone that sent us something. Period. What, are you okay. This is like a whole new thing with the whole, you know, coin behind the ear trick. Uh -huh. yeah. A dollar in the ear. Dollar in the ear. <laughs> that ear will bring her many moments of joy. <laughs> I can assure you that. But thank you so much. We appreciate you guys for even considering to think of us in any way. Wish we could send you all something back in return. Hopefully our videos do yeah. that for you. Hopefully are, there's some sort of consolation prize. <laughs> um, but um, we appreciate you so much. Thanks for thinking of us. Again, check out Patreon. It's a perfect time to join if you've never thought that about it. it. This is the first of the month. Um, Such and, exclusive content that you can only get on Patreon. Yeah. So if you haven't checked it out, head over there and check it yeah, out. Yeah, you got Cooking with Debbie episodes that you only see on Patreon. She made mm -hmm. two in the whole last month. But she's been making a uh, British dish every month and then um, mm -hmm. a, a couple other dishes that are some of our favorites. Yes. And this month, we're I'm going to push and push for fish and chips. She's very not oh, no. excited about that. We're going to try. But then we also, again, have some special things on there. So check it out. It's the perfect time of the month if you want to. Um, mm -hmm. And... We'll okay. be back on Sunday. So um, I know it's Jubilee weekend for you guys. Um, we're hoping to catch some of it um, later on in the day because most of that happens when we're sleeping early because yeah. of the time difference. Um, but happy Jubilee. And yes. um, we'll see you guys back in a few days. Again, thanks so much for watching. Be careful out there celebrating. Yep. So until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.